I had a few people asking about my trailer. Just figured I'd make a little video of it. This is a seven wide, seven tall, and 16 foot plus the V. I got the screwless exterior with the three foot, ex or the, I think it was 20 inches or something, extended tongue. This is the working end of it. Used uh, marine electric and water hookups and stainless steel vents for the tanks. It's got a black tank, a gray tank, and a fresh tank. The fresh and the gray are both 30 gallon. They're insulated and they have blanket heaters installed in them so you can use them in the winter. I use the Volterra drain uh, valves. The trailer has a spring over conversion done so it's a little taller than most of them. The axle is underneath the leaf springs now. Still toes it just as fine. I'm going to eventually add bigger wheels and tires to it. One of the first things I got rid of were the stabilizers that the thing came with and used these scissor jacks. The awning is one of the best things I think I did to it. It's got one by three steel um, tubing in the wall. And then these arms are just self-tappered right to it. More ride RV steps. They just click on and off. Really make it nice coming in and out of here. The awning. Just uh, hit a button. It goes away. Still plenty of room over the door. And just like that, it's done. Inside I use vinyl plank flooring, which I wouldn't recommend, at least not in this kind of application. This is recessed aircraft uh, track. It's like an E-track. But this vinyl floor has to have a quarter inch space on all the edges so that it can float. And it was really tough to make all this work. Same as the bed. There's not a square corner in this trailer, so it's really hard to build off of. It took me a few attempts to get this bed to work. I'll go over that in a minute. The ramp has Herculiner bed liner on it. It's a roll-on style. It's the only product I could see or could find that was recommended to use on wood and it seems to be holding up really good. It's gotten rained on a few times. Yeah, it seems to be fine. I made a little trap door here. This is just uh, in between the frame rails. Closed them in and waterproofed it. Goes wall to wall. You can put all kind of stuff in there. This tracking uses these little things. You can put them anywhere you'd like. You just pop in. This is sturdy. Put them anywhere you want. Pop them right back out when you're done. A little TV for the rainy days. It's mounted. I hooked up to a DVD player. Nothing fancy. One of the big things I wanted was to be able to go camping without bringing any coolers or ice with me. I found this 12 volt only uh, RV fridge and freezer combo on the marketplace for next to nothing. The thing was brand new. <clears throat> I have it hooked up in the trailer pigtail so that when you're going down the road and it's hooked to the truck, it runs, keeps it cold. Seems to work out pretty well. I'm using a RV fuse panel, does the 12 volt and the 110. 
the walls and the ceiling or this FRP product, which is a fiberglass reinforced panel. It's got plywood behind there and then this stuff is glued to it. Seems to be super durable. It's a little hard to clean if you get stuff really in there, but you can scrub on it pretty good and not have to worry about it. It's got a Domatech Penguin 2 air conditioner. It's 11 and a half thousand BTU. Makes this place like a meat freezer. It's really, really good. Maybe too good. Uh, what else? The bed, that's what we're here for. This is not my design. I found another guy on YouTube who did something similar and it got my brain storming. This is a Unistrut. It's for mounting uh, electrical panels and stuff. It's welded to the same steel tubing that the awning is welded to. And um, I used uh, these little thumb screws to hold it in place from falling while you're going down the road. The gas struts will keep it in place on its own. I'll give you a quick video of how this thing goes up and down. Get these screws out of the way. And they just pop right out. The front of the bed is free floating, meaning it's not attached to the walls. When it's in the down position, it sits on these pieces of aluminum. And when it's up, it's locked in with these pieces of aluminum. I'll show you how it works. And just like that, you're ready to go to sleep. a memory foam mattress off of Amazon. Nothing crazy. These are just pieces of aluminum angle that swing back and forth and they hold the front of the bed up when it's in the up position. <clears throat> One on each side, nothing crazy. I'll show you how it goes up. Nothing too crazy. <clears throat> All these windows are from uh, vi uh, Vintage Technologies, I believe. They're alright. I wish I would have got better ones. Little kitchen area. Just a sink, really. This is peel and stick. Backsplash. A little bar sink. I've got a electric, I think it's an eight gallon hot water heater. It does the trick for quick Navy showers. This is where all my water lines come to. This is the bathroom. This is the smallest shower stall I could find. I've got this little fold out shower rod. Gives you a little room and when you're done with it, just throw it out of the way. This is a ceramic uh, Domatech RV toilet. Does the trick. A couple shelves. I use the four-wheeler radiator fan as an exhaust fan in here. Gives you a little noise when you're in there doing your business. Eventually I'd like to add a table and uh, 
folding couches here. Maybe it'll convert into a bed, but for now, this is what I got. All the lights are under cabinet, 12 volt lights. Keep the place pretty bright. As you can see, it's dark out right now. And uh, yeah, that's my trailer. If you have any questions, I'll help you where I can. Thanks.